Inequality prevails. We are now on level 3 and they are gradually releasing some sectors to return back to work. And also, the schools have reopened, but only for the grade 7 and the grade 12. We have seen some students going back to school while others are still at home. And some schools have declared that they are not yet ready to reopen. So the question remains, what is going to happen to those students who are unable to return to school? Are they going to repeat the same grade next year? Good day everybody. My name is Tabu Maboya and you are watching 2.0. In other provinces, schools are still closed due to the reported cases of the COVID-19 and yet all students are expected to return back to school. How is the Department of Education dealing with these situations? It also appears that the schools that have not yet received their PPEs from the government and if they do not have the proper equipment, how will the school manage this virus? Did the Department of Education rush to announce the reopening of schools before preparing the schools? Because most schools are not yet ready. And for that reason, there's parents who have decided to keep their children at home. They say it's unsafe for their children to go back to school under these circumstances. And it's clear, most schools are not yet ready. And as much as we love for our children to get educated, but are we prepared to risk their lives with this coronavirus? These are all the questions that parents are asking themselves. Let's take a look at this video and see how other schools have prepared. Thing that you're planning to have classes for grades this would be the grade seven class for monday yes okay let's go and be so how the conditions look like so let's counter it is tense it is tense i use vumeli i use vumeli because i sense i'm a class is i2 then it will have 39 39 grade seven so before we come to the class, I'm going to the kitchen and he's saving his side. kitchen This is the kitchen that's been used by staff members yes. it's here at the school. Yes. Show us so, how it looks like. The kitchen is in the primary school. The seven is in the same way. So this is where the food is being prepared? Yes, yes. Not all schools are ready to comply with these regulations. And as you have seen, 
Some schools are still in bad conditions. Now, how will they manage with these new regulations? Did they even receive their PPEs from the government? Inequality still prevails. COVID-19 has changed our lives drastically. Nothing seemed normal. You can't even leave your house without wearing a mask. You can't even do shopping without wearing a mask. And now that the schools have been opened, how many students have masks? Since uh, we all know that the, the PPEs are being delayed. Now, who is supposed to provide for the sanitizers and for the mask? Is it the schools or is it the parents? Let's take a look at this video. You're watching 2.0. If you were checking at Estua uh, Madi now, you must get your money to more like get your like school. Now the question is, if the school cannot afford, what's going to happen to those uh, poor kids? So the school can if you lembana the mask and not the government, not the Department of Education. What we've seen there is uh, uh, supply. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the school. Uh, unless uh, they've given them extra, mm. but we are saying in situations where schools don't have um, enough money, mm. should we say this school should close shop? Mm. That cannot be correct. Mm. So, Mr. Papaiki, is it also true that the Kolokamoka are ready to, to open? Are they all opened today as we speak? Uh, schools are not ready. Some will open, some will not uh, open. And uh, we also take a cue from the president to say, if I want to compliance, people should not go to uh, to work. Mm. But then we're having a situation whereby uh, some principals and some circuit managers will say mm. we are complying just to grandstand to the community. Let me give you an example. As we are from uh, Fred uh, Ledouard, we found a teacher busy uh, teaching learners. The question is, what is it that she's teaching? Because we don't have, we do not receive the curriculum training that we should follow. Was it relevant that has been uh, taught today? Or we are saying, no, no, what I was teaching you is not going to appear in an examination. Let's get away with it. So certain things should be done very correctly. And we are saying, let's level the playing field. That's why we are saying it's not a trans mesh to start a schooling, real schooling on, on Wednesday. We make sure that everybody is taken on board. Educators are orientated. The department that is uh, require, uh, required to do, uh, like what I've indicated, Tabaya uh, curriculum, to say how do we trim curriculum, which areas should we uh, focus on, we'll be able to, to, to move forward. But now we are opening schools for the sake of opening schools in the majority of schools. We are not opening because there's compliance. And we're having this thing here, a fear that has been instilled to educators by the minister to say, uh, if you don't work, you're not going to be, uh, uh, be paid. But to take it further, certain things that are not about the minister or the president was speaking about life and death here. As parent, I think parents should also come to the party to say, is this school conducive? Can I take my learner, like my child, to that particular school? So that at the end, you don't come and blame anybody. The president has said, if you don't feel safe, if you feel that your, your child is not safe, don't take the child to school. What is the implication? Implication go over something. The nice government should not be litigated. There's something uh, parents, to some extent, they must play a, a role mm. and uh, assist themselves, not us as a union. Assist themselves in terms of uh, curriculum can be recovered, life cannot be recovered.
Mr. Papaki also hona le this thing ya hore into a teacher can cannot teach. Let's say ke bana bana ba grade seven ke baba six tiga classing and then each class can only take twenty learners. Meaning hore to ba di class te taro and then the bar teacher recha cha other grades they will have to hore ba ten mo spacing sa that teacher is. He or she cannot go to all classes or arute bana. What do you say as sad to or motomo we wa aruta grade enwe at the arute grade seven? What if that person does not qualify or aga aga aruta those learners? Le le na le ring kataba yego tsogo tsogo sad. We 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 are against that because we have teachers who have been teaching lower grades for for twenty years. And then, uh, especially uh, female teachers, to some extent, even though we cannot say it for gender, whatever, they are afraid of learners in the higher uh, grade. They will tell you some can go to an extent of saying, if I'm um, to go to that grade, I rather resign. So, if we take uh, those educators who are not qualified in that space and we say they must go and teach grade 12, we are doing that for compliance. It's not quality education. We also have this issue here, the comorbidities. It should be clarified. To say if we are saying comorbidities by a go high, yes, they must go home, we are agreeing. But are we having substitute for them? As I'm speaking now, it's zero. Let's say, for argument's sake, the school is having three educators who are teaching grade 12. Mm. Then two of them are comorbidities. What's going to happen? Are we saying this one teacher who is remaining should teach the, all, all, all the classes? Because there are no plans to say, you go home, what's going to happen? Mm. Mm. But there is this issue, you go home because you are a comorbidity. Mm. But there's no plan to say you go home and what's going to happen mm. in, your, uh, in, your, in, in your space. Mm. So I think those are some of the challenges that we're encountering. No, Mr. Papa. Thank you for your time. Inequality prevails. There's so much to be concerned about because prior to the disruption caused by the COVID 19, the schools had challenges, challenges like not having enough teachers to teach certain grades, improper conditions within the school, sanitation issues, the list goes on. Now here comes this pandemic disrupting everything and causing the world to be on a lockdown. Today, we are on a level three. The school has just resumed. Schools are expected to comply under the COVID-19 regulations. But what about the quality of education? What about the lives of the learners? The lives of the teachers? It's winter season. It only gets worse. COVID-19 increases day by day. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your families. Stay home and stay safe. That's all we have for you today. You're watching 2.0 Rewind. Two point oh, point two, two point oh, two point oh, two point oh, two point oh, two point zero, two point oh, two point. Oh, 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 oh,
Entertainment.